hello guys my name is Anvit Dubey and today I am back with another problem solving query on arrays and today query is to move all negative numbers to the beginning of the array and all the positive positive to end and like there is no such information like there is nothing given like we need to sort also like if we take this example like minus 12 11 minus 13 5 minus 5 6 minus 7 5 minus 3 minus 6 so what we have done it's simply like the occurrence of minus 12 is first than minus 13 so minus 12 will be printed first then minus 13 occurrence is second in negative numbers then minus 13 then minus 5 then minus 7 and then minus 3 and then minus 6 so there is not sorting in and then we will print the positive 11 6 and 5 so what we will do is we will think of an approach like this that if the uh, element is negative then we can take two pointers of flag or whatever you want to say that first pointer will be like it will be seeing if the element is negative then it will remain there where it is and increment the pointer okay and the second pointer will also be incremented now if the element is positive then we'll increment the first pointer which will be like you know iterating to the loop and the second pointer which is you know uh, uh, will not be incremented until another negative value is found so that another uh, pointer we are talking about will be pointing to the last positive element we encountered which would be 11 so if the next uh, first uh, counter we have incremented then it will be minus 13 it will be pointing to minus 13 and the second pointer would be pointing to 11 so now we will exchange the elements like 11 will go uh, here and minus 13 will go here in place of 11 so this is our approach let's now code it down first let's uh, write our driver code which is the main part so let's just take an input this time not uh, input from the user so let's just take this array only copy it and anti array equals to perfect yep so our array is very much created and initialized now what we can do is we can uh, create another function where we can send the value of um, the array and you know there we can do our logic stuff so just make one function let it be um, what say begin or negative neg and just send r okay now we'll be creating another public static void not main it will be neg now we have received uh, array from the main function that we had called so now what we'll do is we can we have to take one pointer which will be zero initially and also one uh, temporary variable to swap the elements while we are you know swapping so if we do we can also use without the temporary variable 
but it will require more lines of code so let's just avoid that and use one extra variable for swapping now what we'll do is we'll run a code from int equals to zero till i is less than r dot length i plus plus now we'll first check if r of i is less than zero as it is negative so if it's so then what we'll do is we'll check now if i is not equal to j because if the two counter variables are or pointers are same then there's no meaning to swap those elements because if we swap the element the element itself then the element will be element itself so let's just ignore that condition to reduce our time complexity so if i is not equal to j then what we'll do is we'll swap so for swapping we'll do is add of i equals to add of j and add of j equals to temp yep so our so swapping is being done and here we will we'll be incrementing the j the pointer and we are incrementing this only when if we have found the element uh, at the index i is less than zero else it will be storing the index of the la latest uh, positive element okay so at this point the array is being sorted according to what we want so now what we can simply do is we can print uh, the array r dot k plus plus this just print r of k and we will have some space so that it looks fine so let's just run the code yeah. yep so we have our required output which is the same as we had seen in the example so i hope you understood the logic behind the code and you can also take the scanner class and input all the uh, elements in the array as per the user's choice it's up to you i just just wanted to make the approach understandable so here's the code i hope you all understood see you in the next lecture thank you bye